Hey, somebody! We got a wounded fighter. Can we get a healer over here? My, my, would you look at this? But why would you drag a wounded fighter into the middle of the festival square? Couldn't he be carted off somewhere else like, oh, I don't know, an infirmary or an accommodating ditch? Make room, everyone. Step back. Now, what's the matter? What happened to him? <laughs> the wound looks nasty. Who did this to him? Demons, prelate. We found him barely alive outside the walls of Canabris. The walls, you say? The enemy doesn't usually stray so close to the city. Must fortify the defenses. And you, hold fast. Don't die. We'll see you right. We'll get you patched up now. But first, you there, guard. Take his weapons. Bearing arms is not permitted during the festival. Wounded or not, everyone must abide by the rules. He can get his things back after the festival. <laughs> oh, inheritor, leader of our troops, the sharpened edge of our blades and the unyielding strength of our armor. Iomade, I beseech you, grant your mercy. Heal his wounds. My powers are not enough here. Someone call for Terendalev. You there. Yes, you. Stop dithering and gawping and make yourself useful. Go and get Terendalev. Prelate, surely there is somebody else here better suited to running errands. I'll get her. Terendalev. Has anyone seen Terendalev? It's quite interesting that her avatar, the thumbnail picture, is that a woman in an extraordinary armor, and that's nothing like her. Um, I mean, she's not armed. Um, I mean, she's not geared up, apparently, because it's in a city. And there are festivities to tell. This looks very cool. His armor also looks very cool. I'm pretty sure that I will greatly enjoy this game. Be quick about it before it's too late. Now, who are you? I don't remember seeing you before, and I have an excellent memory for faces. I am a crusader. I came to fight demons. Oh, Iomade saved me from green recruits. They come without planning, without preparation, and they die before they even see their first real battle. I don't know whether to laugh or cry at the utter waste of it all. My dear prelate, please, for the sake of the festivities, stop interrogating this poor man. He has been through enough already. Go on, I'll take care of him. Hmm. All right, as you wish. You are our protector, and a dragon at that. So I shall defer to your wisdom, but be on your guard. I've been informed he was wounded near Canabras. That means the demons are prowling just outside the walls, and the city is crawling with their spies. Others may be able to relax on this holiday, but not you or I. Not the defenders of this city. What? A dragon at that? There are dragons in human form in this game? What? Muttering discontentedly. The old man walks off. What? A dragon? What? She's a dragon? What? Hello there. Pry loose the grudging grip of pain. Cast off the veil of suffering flesh. Let light and life go forth in triumph to repel the skulking shade of death. There. A beautiful silver-haired woman, woman leans over you. She seems ageless, her face wholly unlined, but centuries-old sadness gleams in her. The longer she speaks, the stronger her voice becomes. Hmm. So, of course, either we're going for thank you for helping me, or are you really a dragon? I mean, this would be rude. She just saved our life, and the first thing we want... Are you really a dragon? So, we're going for a help you line. I, I, I really want to know if she's a dragon, but that would be very rude. She just saved our life. The first thing we're going to say as a beacon of the light is thank you for helping me. I accept your thanks. 
But my work is not yet done. Hey, you're really a, a dragon? You don't believe me? Perhaps I should retake my true form and engulf this square with my ice breath to win your trust. <laughs> Pay no mind to my current guise. I appear this way when I walk among the people. I would hamper the festivities if I tried to attend in my true form. Who are you? My name is Terendalev. I am the protector of the city. What happened to me? I do not know yet. And that troubles me. I am not entirely sure what the demons did to you. This wound is no ordinary injury, and it was inflicted by no ordinary weapon. I have rid you of your pain and restored your strength, but only time will allow you to heal fully. Can I go? Certainly, but be careful. I have managed to get you back on your feet, but I have not healed you fully. Alas, sooner or later, your pain will return. Okay. That's not good. But do not be discouraged. You will recover, I promise you that. Tomorrow, come to the cathedral and say that you are expected by Terendalev, protector of Canabras. We will find a way to help you. But for now, put this out of your mind and enjoy the festival. They are all too rare in this time of war, and merriment is one of the best medicines. Day of the city. Canabris. I wanted to read this. Well, what, what, what? Movement, no. No, it's just... Where's this text? I, I did nothing, I just wanted to read it. That's gone. Damn it. Camera. Yes, yes. Oh, that's not cool. Events. Removes greatsword longbow. We had a longbow and greatsword, okay. La dialogue. Well, it's gone now. Hmm. Misinformation about the city, okay. So, okie dokie. So that's our map. Interesting. So we have an inventory. Holy moly, we have a lot of stuff that we can equip. Oh, there's some sort of helmet, glasses, a cloak, two rings, bracers, I guess four sets of weapons, a necklace, a chest piece, an under chest piece, shirt, buckle, belt, gauntlets, shoes, and five different extra items or potions. Light, LBS. Pounds. Again, I don't measure in cheeseburgers. That's kilos. And that's, I believe, roughly 15 kilos. So he can. 130 kilos? I'm pretty sure that no normal man can carry 130 kilos. That's ridiculously much. Okay. Character. Marshall. Hmm. Okay. We have a myth, myth, mythic path, a spell book, a journal. Ah. Day of the city. The last chapter to complete the quest, or it will fail afterward. Genebris is a city poised on the border between two worlds. On the one side, the ordinary world inhabited by ordinary people, and on the other, the world wound. The demons foothold on Golarion. Heroes from across the world flock to Canabris to aid the Crusader cause. The protracted war offers little cause for celebration, but today is the anniversary of the city's founding. For today, the city's main square has been cleared of marching troops and given over perf to performers and carnival games. The townsfolk deserve the chance to forget about the bloodshed if only for a day. I mean, that's that's a problem. Demons outside, they are celebrating and then demons attack. What, is a giant demonic invasion imminent whilst the city is celebrating? 
I mean, hit your enemies when they least expect it. You've got to take a break from fighting. The square is packed with numerous entertainments. Time to set aside thoughts of war and enjoy. Drink, throw a dart, hit the mannequin. Okay. Encyclopedia. Ay, ay, ay. Crusade tutorial. Co we armies on the global. What the? Recruiting units, morale. What the? Construction region. What the? This game's huge. Okay. Terrain type urban. Um, one thing that I don't like is the low quality of this map. The screenshot. Okay. The compass. That's 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 cool. The amethyst. Okay. Where are we? There we are. Tirendele. Oh, there she is. Hurun. So we're supposed to drink. Troubadours. Having fun. Can we talk to her again? Godspeed. You can interact with various objects, such as doors or chests, by clicking right mouse button on them. Some special objects have an icon above them. This is also how you talk to characters. Hold tab to highlight all interactive objects and show the interaction button. Okay. Ah. Ah, there is a button. somewhere before yeah you have you owe me your life I'm the one who found you outside the walls and brought you inside to be healed I see they patched you up good thing they did it before the attack or else you'd have been done for who is Discari? you must have got a good drubbing around the head brother Discari is a demon lord the most fearsome enemy of all crusaders and all living things come to think of it 
What's the situation in this area? We're having a mild conversation with all around us. Demons are killing people. Okay, uh, what's the situation in the city? Who knows? Everything's on fire. Crashing down around our ears. The place is crawling with demons. Looks like a whole army attacked the city. We're sitting ducks! Care to lend me a weapon? I'll try to fight the demons. Sure thing. Here, take this. Best crossbow I've got. The person who made it said it could pierce the hide of a demon lord, even. Good luck! Try not to get eaten now! A mortal man snaps its jaws at the Lord of Locusts! Behold, Iomane! Behold the death I saw! That one escalated quickly. The dragon is dead, just like that. The silver dragon, Terendalev, the defender of Canabras, fell in battle. Hardly surprising, as she had to fight the demon lord Discari himself. He willed the land to part and swallow all who dared to stand in his way. But the war was still far from over. Ended in death and destruction. Was lucky enough to survive, ended up in the ancient catacombs. There we have a charge. Smite evil. Fighting defensively. Oh, holy mother of. A small woman with the messy hair, brown hair, winces in pain, uttering a stream of curses through clenched teeth. She's pinned to the ground by a couple of weighty boulders. Her name is Anivia. Hey, hey, stay with me. You actually got pretty lucky. You fell down into a black hole. But at least you're not on your own. You've got a great companion. Everything's going to be just fine. Tell me something. Can you feel your legs? The young woman in knight's armor studies the rocks intently, clearly trying to work out how to move them. I feel them all right. One say no to a little less feeling in them. My ankle's killing me, but my back seems to still be in one piece. My head, too. That's all that matters. Now, we're going to... Hey! Fancy meeting you down here. You're the one that Terendalev healed today, right? You aren't injured, are you? Will you help me get her out from under the boulders? Spotting you, the knight reaches for her sheeted weapon, but after scrutinizing your face momentarily, she raises her hand in greeting. Skill checks and dialogues. During the course of the game, you will have to apply your skills in many different situations. Frequently, you have to make a skill check during dialogue. Here, for example, we are trying to help Sila fetch Anavia from beneath the rubble. The result of such checks determines how events subsequently pan out. So we can't be evil, we are a paladin, a leader of the light. Evil diplomacy, so of course no. So either athletics or knowledge. A lever is always a good idea, but if we're strong enough to get her out, even though that's kind of a risk, if you hurt your back or your knees or something, you're down there, you'd be helpless. But again, time made, might be of essence. Uh, hold on, we're going to get you out from under there. Failed. Oh, that's bad. You have to work hard to get the wounded woman out from under the rubble. At last, the knight stops to catch her breath and wipe the sweat from her brow. Ah, damn it all! I think it's broken. Oh well, I've had worse. I'll just make myself a splint out of something. 
Thanks for the help. I wouldn't have lasted long on my own stuck under there. I'm a Nevia Tiravade, of the Eagle Watch. I was overseeing security at the Festival Square. I thought maybe spies or demon worshippers might have something nasty planned. What actually happened, though? Now that, I did not see coming. I don't think anyone could have been prepared for that. Well, I'm Sila. Paladin by the grace of Iomade. I crossed the whole continent to come to Mendeb and fight demons. And, well, I've been fighting for a while now. I don't even want to think what might be happening up there in the city. Canabres has lost the protection of Terendelev, and of the Wardstone too, looks like. It's a relic without equal. It was placed here personally by Iomade's herald, with the goddess's blessing. I really wanted to go see it, to pray before it. But there's no point worrying about a stone when there are people dying in the streets. Yeah, things are looking grim enough, but don't lose heart. Wardstone or no, dragon or no, Canabres will never give in. Simple as. Well, we've introduced ourselves. What about you? I am a paladin just like you, Sila. And I came here to protect this world from evil. A smile blossoms on Sila's face. She shakes your hand firmly. A fellow crusader! <laughs> Welcome, brother. This is great. I would have been happy to have any companion in this. But it's nice to be stuck down here with somebody who's my kind of crazy. It's a good thing you've still got your faith. Because right now, to be totally honest, Faith's probably the only thing we do have. Uh, now then, I'll hobble my way out of here somehow. The city ain't far, only 30 paces or so. That's if you're going straight up, of course. I'm afraid we're gonna have to go the long way round. Anivia tightly ties off the twine on her improvised splint and, leaning on a stick, hauls herself to her feet. To summarize, there are three of us, with five working legs, three pairs of decent hands, two clear heads, and one made of wood. <laughs> That's mine. Underground monsters, beware! <laughs> Anevia, you stay behind us. You're in no fit state to fight. If we do come up against anything, the two of us will try to manage on our own first. Well, onward! May the good deities lead us back to the open sky soon. Your party has several characters. To select one of them, click on their portrait or use the appropriate key. Out, one to six. To select several characters, and give them all one command. Either drag a box around them while holding left mouse button. Or click the portraits of the desired characters with shift left mouse button. To select all characters, press, press basket. I read too much. My tongue is twirling around itself. Press the back space. Mm -hmm. We march ahead. We're going to end this now. And we're going to continue this journey tomorrow. Damn. This looks like a very interesting game. I kind of like this setting. I'm not sure if I will like the combat, if there is a chances and rolls and mishits, but we'll see. Oh, bon, till next time.